All right. And we are live on Facebook world. So um, that was probably a lot quicker than I did it last time. Last time, I think there was about a five minute wait. So I think this time around, it was probably about a one to two minute wait. So sorry for that. Um, I'd love to introduce you to Rachel and Ryan from Less Pest Gold Coast. Um, this is one of those times where I highlight some of my lovely Facebook clients um, and we get an opportunity to share with Facebook world how Facebook marketing um, is working for other people. So um, first, maybe Ryan and Rachel, you could explain to us, you know, tell us a little bit about your business, uh, why you started your own business, uh, why you do what you do, because playing with creepy crawlies can't be, it's not for everyone. <laughs> Uh, it certainly isn't Chantel. We, we see some interesting sites that probably gross most people out, but uh, I love what I do. So why not do it for yourself? Yeah, excellent. So how did you transition from working for someone else to then starting your own business? Uh, it was a bit daunting. Um, we sort of decided to take the plunge and start our own business, which has been great. Um, and you've been fantastic for that, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and one of the things was for me is I got a little bit upset with some of the companies, particularly with what they were doing to the clients because every day, everything is, you know, if you don't know what you don't know, you're going to get ripped off. And a lot of people, they don't ask second questions. Um, so for me, I try to educate people. I try to make them understand this is cheaper over eight years or, you know, it's not say a four year product. So a company is going to make twice the amount of much money off you if they're charging you every four years, but they might be saving you a thousand dollars up front. So now in my own business, I can explain to the people, if you look at it in an eight year cycle, you're actually getting charged half the price. So um, I can do and say what I want in my own business. So where I was a bit bound working for someone else. Yeah, excellent. And I think one of the things that you touched on there was the fact that um, education, so education is super important and not everyone is an educator. I'm an educator. I love to educate people. I know you're an educator. You love to be educate people. And when you're passionate about something, um, uh, you really want the best for people. And I think that that comes through with some of the Facebook posts that you do as well, um, which we will touch on a little bit later today. And education is vitally important for showing trust because people are either going to judge you on price or they're going to build trust with you and then they'll pay you anything because they trust you. They know, like, and trust you. So that's awesome. So, um, so what would you say is some of your like unique selling points or your points of difference? You know, what makes you, your business uh, better than everyone else's? Like why we should, why should we use less pest gold coats? Well, Chantel, we like to think we do a thorough job, um, start to finish. And a lot of people say they do a thorough job. I've worked in the industry a long time. I know a lot of people don't do a thorough job. So, and once again, you don't know the level of service someone who's receiving. How is um, a technician at another company different to say myself or um, another pesty? And it comes down to the care factor. We care. Um, that's why we're not going to go and sell someone a shitty system that is probably not going to really work. Um, and I did a Facebook live yesterday. You'd be proud of me. Always a call to action in there. We love call to actions. Um, and just explaining why. So I think it's community based too. You know, when you're part of the community, um, a lot of customers, they actually want to support local, but you need to be in front of them as well so that they know that you are there. Um, that's one of the things we found a lot of customers are actually wanting to support smaller, uh, whether you're a family business or a um, husband and wife team like Ryan and I are, um, you know, that's what they're wanting is people that are sort of within the community and interacting and, you know, I think with Ryan particularly, like you touched on doing the live videos, uh, people get to get a feel for you and I think his trust and honesty um, and genuine care comes through and I think that that's one of our points of dis difference. Yeah, excellent. And I think it's important, you know, that we can know that in real life. So in real life, because you guys are out in Varsity Lakes, people know you, they like you and trust you. But Facebook's a great way to also show people and make new people, strangers, know, like and trust you as well. So it's important to bring that and have those feelings. I always talk about socials with feelings. It's important to have those feelings on your Facebook page. So people can already start to build that relationship with you and go, oh, this, this is pretty cool. I know, like, and trust these people. I'm happy to use them. Um, and Ryan must like you to want to work with you every day. And you must really like him to say yes to coming on the jobs. 
<laughs> with him. So <laughs> that's it. I have to say, uh, there's a bit of curiosity there sometimes when you get to go in, and actually, there's a bit of voyeurism going on when you get to go in and see these termites and creepy crawlies and other things that are going on. It's um, something, I guess, for me that I hadn't actually, you know, really been exposed to and everything. So I find it very fascinating. Um, but at the same time, I'm quite happy working at home in the office. It depends what the job is as to whether I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then tell us a little bit about um, your Facebooking. So who's responsible for doing the Facebooking? Tell us a bit about how you manage that. Yeah, that's why I think something that evolves, um, you know, and yet again, Ryan and I are still evolving with Facebook. And I think that's why us working with you, Chantel, um, is an ongoing thing. I think it's very important in business to actually never just think you know everything. Things are always changing, especially in technology. So it is important to keep up with it. And I think it's about getting your own rhythm. I think everybody that's on Facebook as a business will have a different way of doing it and communicating with Ryan and I, we sh we've just evolved and shared. So sometimes I'll record him, but if I'm not there, he's worked out how to do his lives himself and he's very natural and good at it. So he does the lives. And if he's done one like yesterday, he lets me know. And then I go in and I actually write the blurb that goes with it. So um, that what he's saying in live is sort of, you know, coming through on the little message that we put there um, in writing, because not everyone, listens and not everyone, you know, not everyone's a reader either. So they're getting the message in both areas. Um, I'll do a lot of the content posting, but usually that comes from Ryan taking photos and just being aware that he needs to be taking things on the job. And part of it comes from passion when you're doing that. He just loves to, you know, take photos of what he sees or alive. But I think it's also, like you said, being aware of going just because you do it, don't get complacent thinking, oh, everyone's seen that or they know that. They don't. Yeah. Yeah, people don't know what you know, 100%. No, so no. It's, it's very important to always remember, I think, that always treat it as if there's a new person watching or, you know, they haven't seen this particular video maybe before that, before that you've done. It's always slightly different. I always, yeah, yeah, I always look at it, Chantel, and go, if it's something that I think no one's seen before or they're going to find it interesting, which in my line of work, it's always. So I always Facebook Live it and go, look, if you haven't seen this before. This is something I come across on a regular basis. You guys haven't seen it, so I'll do a Facebook Live. So that's just how I do it. Yeah, excellent. And something you touched on earlier was always a call to action. So for some people out there who haven't worked with me, they might not know the importance of that call to action. It's all well and, and good just going and posting, have a look at this, have a look at this, have a look at this. But we also do need to um, invite people to work with us or to ask questions. Um, so, so that was the call to action that Ryan was talking to a little bit earlier. Um, and you guys are lucky because um, we always talk about pain and agitating people's pain and getting them to take action. And when they see the creepy crawlies, it's, it's quite easy for people to go, oh my gosh, it could be living under my deck. I better do something about it. You know, it might be growing. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you guys true. are lucky enough to have that. <laughs> That's very true. true. So one of the things that we did do on your Facebook page recently was we actually changed the name from Less Pest to Less Pest Gold Coast, okay? Yes. And we had a discussion around that. Um, and the reason we did that was because you are Gold Coast based. So it's one of those non-negotiables that are there. And we always talk about when you jump onto a person's page, within three seconds, we've got to know, like, and trust them, and we've got to know what, what it is that they do so that we look further, okay? So with no further ado, we'll jump onto your Facebook page and we'll have a little look. Uh, let's have a look, bearing in mind, there we go, cool. So here we go. So if we jump onto Less Pest, you can see uh, their branding's in there, it's consistent, really cool cover image at the back. Um, and you can see on the left-hand side that it's Less Pest Gold Coast. So that within three seconds of somebody coming to the page, they can go, you know what, um, this business is in Gold Coast, so yes, I'll look further. Um, one of the other things I really like was the way in which you've done your services because you've actually put human pictures inside your services, um, which is relatable, um, which is really cool. Some people may choose to just use sort of like logos or branding and, and that's okay too. But I kind of like this because Brian, you, well, and Rachel, you're both a little bit cheeky. And, um, and I like that that comes through in, in both your banner up at the top and in your services over here. Um, I'll just click through to the termite inspection one because I was looking at this a little bit earlier. 
Um, and what I like about this is the fact that you've used human language. You've used simple language that simple people can understand. There's no sort of big, um, big scary words in there, um, but it's completely relatable. And on top of it, um, you have put a little bit of um, a call to action there. It's like prevention is better than cure. Um, is that you're kind of evoking or well, stirring up a little bit of, um, you know, use us or get your pests sorted out sooner than later because else you'll end up being in more trouble so mm. i really like that so we'll just go down and we'll have a little look um, and you can see here obviously they've also shared the fact that today we were doing um this live um, and these are the lives here that we were talking about so ryan hasn't put on his makeup oh he has done his hair <laughs> but uh, normally i hold the phone down so you can see up the nostrils so i've, I've learned something there chantelle okay so uh, as as my teenage girls would always tell me it's always high low high low oh right <laughs> high low then you'd have to worry about the nose hairs but you don't have to go and get dressed and make it fancy as long as it's a valuable tip and here you can see rachel has been talking about um making sure that the content the written content that you put inside there um people because some people are, and they're not allowed to watch lives. So then actually, so if you don't have written on your lives, well, then it's much better to um, make sure that you have this here. And also, this is in the album too. So I mean, that's uh, yuck. <laughs> okay. Um, so we've got lives. Of course, we always talk about, you know, having the fun game stuff in here as well. And you guys love your dog. So you'll see a picture of your dog a little bit further down here. Um, I always say dogs get one of the highest engagements. So their dog um, features in quite a lot of their videos. It's obviously going to help with engagement. Um, and your dog goes with you sometimes, is that right? No. No, no he doesn't? No, he's an office dog. He's an office dog. He stays with you. <laughs> he's not quite as active as he used to be. He's not very mobile. <laughs> um, so I really like over here how you've, you know, you've gone to the effort of putting in the circles over here as well, just to show people what it is and the use of emojis just to evoke, you know, some of that pain or some of that, like, oh my gosh. Um, one of the other things over here that I've seen is your reviews. So tell me, did you have to threaten people with termite infestation in order to get these reviews? No. No. How Would you, you tell us about how you got those reviews? I, I just say to people, you know, like, or some, not even all these people, I haven't asked the, any of these ones to give me reviews, but sometimes I say, look, if you really like us and want to help us grow in the community and support us, uh, would you mind giving me a uh, review and just be honest with how our service went? Just, yeah, that's all I say. Excellent. Good customer service. Yep, that's yeah. excellent. If you don't um, ask, you won't receive. That's yes. how people work. A hundred percent. So, um, so would you say like, if you just set up your business and you just set up this Facebook page, would you still be getting results? Like, no. so what does it take? What does it take to get results on Facebook? Uh, for a start, it'd be actually not just creating a business page and leaving it. Yeah. Um, I know as a customer in the community myself, um, it, to me, it is a way that the community will actually search for people and find businesses and whether they're credible. And I know I do the same. If I go and actually look on Facebook on, and their business page and there's nothing there, you're not building any trust. You're not giving me any information. And, yeah, it doesn't look very professional in my mind that, you know, you haven't even, you've created it, you haven't done anything with it. So I think it's very important when you're looking at that, that you have a strategy, say, with like you, Chantel, that actually helps you how to do that because I was in the same boat. I knew how to create it, but I didn't know how to actually implement and make it work. So, Excellent. yeah, I think it is important to actually... Um, really make it look good it is a business profile it's it's letting the community know it's more important than your business cards and your flyers that's how everyone is searching is on facebook that's where it's at so how do you generally get your leads on facebook um we're very lucky i think yet again it's like we we're talking about building that know like and trust and our we get a lot of our customers that refer us. We're even not on some of the community pages. And when I ask them, they're coming through because other people have recommended on other pages and asked um, who's in the community. So uh, a lot of the customers and people are just happy to put us forward. And I'm pretty proud of that because it's actually genuine customers. It's not other 
businesses necessarily um, that are in, you know, um, other organisations. And I think that that's important that, you know, the community knows that it is other genuine customers that are actually putting you forward that have had your services and work in their home. Um, now, yeah. when you see those recommendations, because people will at you and they'll tag you, do you just go, thanks, or do you just leave it, or does it require some follow-up? Oh, it requires some follow-up. So, you know, <laughs> there we were watching good old Netflix the other day, and uh, <laughs> 9.30 at night, I had to say, hold that there, Ryan. I have to go and, you know, take this one. And, you know, it ended up being a $400 booking. Excellent. Excellent. You know, yeah. um, and I think it's been engaging in the community. You know, uh, we've, we've picked up a, a complex um, with yeah. one of the property managers on site, and that brings us in all... I don't know, about five grand or so a five year. Five to 10,000 a year. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. And then we picked up a commercial client, which yeah. is probably worth five to 10,000 a year. So, you know. And that we, was all through Facebook, all originated through Facebook. Facebook? All through Facebook. All through Facebook. And yet again, they were wanting somebody within the community, yeah. somebody that they, they could see that had been recommending us. So they actually told me that they had looked at our reviews. Um, they did. Yeah, they did go and look at our Facebook page and obviously also the reviews, but they also, um, yeah, wanted somebody that was more smaller because they find that they weren't getting the they, support. They wanted to trust trusted yeah. uh, company. So um, we've gone in, sorted their problem. They trust us. They're going to continue to use us. So, you mm. know, Facebook, you know, off one termite lead, we could end up with a $6,000 plus dollar job, you know. So, and that has happened. Um, from Tom's, from one recommendation. Um, yes, yeah, so I think some of the things that you've that you touched on here is that no like and trust is obviously important, and then having that same feeling on your Facebook page, but that you know you can be on Facebook as well, but you've got to remember that you've still got to follow up on people. You've still got to um, you've still got to deal with people. A lot of people come to me and they go, I don't want to deal with people. I just want people to pay me money straight through Facebook. You know, there is that. How do you actually convert them and take those leads and get them on Facebook and mm -hmm. Facebook, Facebook can actually be doing its job. And sometimes in some companies, it's the fact that they're not taking them off Facebook. That's the problem. Yeah. So, um, so you guys course, obviously do as well. Yeah, well, we've got a booking system. So obviously when you um, answer the client, you know, on, on um, the, the recommendation or they're asking for people um, or a service, then, you know, you sort of say, well, we can help you and everything. And then our um, little personal message, you know, in the little messenger. And then I get their, obviously, their details. And then from there, it swaps over onto our database. And so we're off of Facebook. And now you've got them in your actual database. Excellent. Awesome. Because that's, that's super important is obviously to build your database. So, all right. So people in Facebook land right now that are watching, those that are on the Gold Coast and are potentially looking for a pest company, how can they be in touch with you? Give us all your deets. Okay. So they can go over to our Facebook page, which is Less Pest Gold Coast. And uh, they can call us on 0497006400. They can check out our website, which is uh, lesspestcontrol.com.au. Uh, and they can check out our YouTube. There's a few places that we're at. So <laughs> we've got an Instagram one, but yeah, we, we uh, tend to find that we're on Facebook a lot. So whichever guys, whichever way suits you. Excellent. Thanks so much, guys. Um, and for those who have been watching today, um, if you do have any questions um, or comments for Ryan or for myself, please leave it in the comments below at the bottom of the live um, and we'll get back to you shortly. Um, also, just to let you know that if you do have some more inquiries as to how Facebook could work in your business, um, I'd love you to book a discovery call with me as well. That's how it starts. It starts with a discovery call to see whether or not we can work together. And for those of you who just want to stalk me a little bit further, you can jump onto my website, chantelgerardi.com.au, and there's heaps of free training. We just loaded a new podcast on yesterday. There's another blog that's getting loaded tomorrow. Um, there's heaps and heaps of valuable content that's being loaded onto that website all the time. So if you're not ready right now, you're small, a small business or startup, and you're not quite there yet to engage a coach, there is heaps of actual good content there for you, as well as on my Facebook page. So um, before we go, I just want to introduce the next um, show and tell, which will be probably in the next month. I haven't set a date yet. Um, it is going to be with Brent and uh, Ellen Weber from Burley Mobile Mechanic and Workshop in Burley. And um, they're going to be our next guest and they're going to show us how they use Facebook in their business. And let's see if we can learn some tips from there. So thank you once again, Rachel and Ryan. 
And um, yeah, guys, if you are in the Gold Coast, go check out these guys. They're super cool. Have um, an amazing day. Chantel, can I say one thing before you go? Just Please. didn't get a chance to jump in before. Um, like in Facebook for our business generates about half of what we earn, which is a large portion of business for what we put in. Um, I think a lot of people make the mistake when they start a business is they don't put the work in. So if they put the work into Facebook, they will get out of it. Yeah. You just got to put the work in. Yeah. And I think what's really cool as well is um, how many people, I know you've said before, when networking groups come up to you and go, well, you've worked with Chantel, can you please teach us how to do it? <laughs> I don't think people realize that it's a personalized strategy for each individual business and that what works for one person is not necessarily going to work for another. So true. And you so need true. a professional. You need somebody that's qualified in the field, you know? <laughs> yep. Right, yeah. Chantel. Thanks so much, guys. Have an amazing day. And I look forward to reading all the comments below in the lives. See you, bye. bye.